Good evening, good evening, good evening. Thank you. Uh, my name is Minister Arthur L. Weathersby of Sound the Alarm Ministry here at 3101 North Market Street, uh, Wilmington, Delaware, in the side entrance on the 31st Street is where you can come and access the place of worship for us. Amen. And I'm here on behalf of also my pastor, Pastor Sherry O. Weathersby. Amen. And we are here to share good news. Amen. It's on the alarm ministry. I'm um, Joel 2 1. We are absolutely, we are crying loud and sparing not in accordance with Isaiah 58 1. Amen. We have a message that we want to bring forth to you at this time that was recorded earlier today in our first worship service. Amen. As we were launched as a ministry yesterday at the same location, we want to acknowledge and thank Bishop Linwood Wright out the third, uh, the presiding bishop of the first and fourth district of the Union American Methodist Episcopal Church, whose headquarters is at 3101 North Market Street. Amen. And also Pastor Gilbert Bruton of the New Hope UAMEC Church, Amen. Yes, that's a part of the of the organization that Bishop Rideout is, is overseeing. At least the first and the fourth district of it. Uh, this is uh, we share space there with Pastor Bruton, who has graciously allowed us to come in after they complete their morning worship. We give honor to God for them on this day. And we're going to get right into the message. There's going to be some things that are going to come after. Uh, you're going to hear remarks, Amen, from uh, none other than the pastor. Of, of sound the alarm ministry and i'm going to let her come to you in her in her way that she will do so but i ask that you sit and pay attention to the message that's going to come forth because there was great opposition getting to this point for me to try to do this broadcast and that to me is nothing but the work of the enemy so i know that somebody's going to get blessed there's going to be some folks that's going to receive some healing and deliverance um, from what they're about to hear. So we thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for the occasion. And now I just ask that you hold tight because we're going to bring forth that message as it was done uh, this morning or this morning. Lord have mercy. This afternoon, because our worship service time starts at 1.30 p.m. Praise our God. Only he knows and my wife why I'm having what I'm having a moment for myself. Let's move into the message. Now we're moving into the message. Amen. Thank God for the evangelistic spirit that he set on fire. 
praise God, through the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it's just a blessing to be a part of the kingdom. Praise God. Hallelujah. How he is yet calling for many men and women, boys and girls. Praise God. Hallelujah. Using whom he chooses in these last people days to be a witness for him because it's about souls. And it will always be about souls. So I just ask, praise God, and praise God, the ministry here will continue to pray. I continue with faith and trust, strength in the Lord, because he's our strength like no other. Amen. Thank God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name.
and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. I make my boast in the Lord because if I'm going to boast on anybody, I'm going to boast on the one that's able to do exceedingly abundantly above that what I can imagine or even ask. Um, I thank God for yet another opportunity that he's afforded unto us to be able to be in his presence because it doesn't matter. I'm mindful and I'm very conscious of this simple fact. Too many of us get caught up on being in the presence of others. And I'm talking about people. You need to be concerned about it being in the presence of God himself. Because one day you shall be in his presence. And you want to make sure when you're in his presence on that day that you've been right in his presence in this time. Amen. Because this is a time for you to really to enjoy the presence of God as he makes himself known unto men. On oh, this day, this is his day. I heard somewhere in the word would say this is the day that the Lord has made, and we're supposed to rejoice and be glad therein. But too many of us, too many of us will not rejoice because of what's going on with the day. And they forget that if God had himself had not woken you up this morning, you have no day to rejoice in at all. Amen. I know what I'm talking about. Amen. Thank God. We thank God for for this day, this is December uh, 13th, the year of our Lord 2015, and it is Sunday afternoon. I know, I know, y'all heard my wife say Sunday morning. Uh, 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 that, that's gonna be a little thing that we gonna break, Amen. Because get used to used to doing morning worship service, and the Lord may yet have us doing that at some appointed time. But in this season, we're in the afternoon. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. I know sometimes this kills me. This kills me a lot. When preachers get up to preach, it's after 12 noon. And they say, good morning, church. I'm sorry. We started in the morning, but after 12 noon, it's afternoon. I'm just saying. Okay, that's just me. Praise God. We give no. They ain't about correction. It's just explanation. Because some people don't, they don't be paying attention. They just let stuff come out of their mouth and they be flowing. And wait a minute. It's not good afternoon. I mean, good morning. It's afternoon time. Praise God. It's like we ain't paying attention. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, giving honor to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit on this day, we give honor unto Him. We give honor. Watch this, y'all. To and, and this is being recorded to my pastor, uh, Evangelist Sherry O. Weathersby. Amen. Amen. She didn't know I was gonna do all that, but I, I know how to do things decently in order. Amen. I know how to do things decently in order, and God has in this season appointed her um, to lead Sound the Alarm Ministry because He gave it to her. I think it's more than 15 years ago, babe. Um, I, I think because it, it would happen sometime before. Now 20 years? Okay, about 20 years. 20 years ago. Amen. That's a long time ago. And at that time, you were co-pastoring sort of in that, in that regard. Well, you were with your husband at that time, Elder Donald Scales, and he was the lead of Man in Christ Ministries. Amen. Of which you did co-labor with him in the gospel. Amen. And did some work of the pastor. Amen. Uh, but now, um, God says, this is your season. This is your time. Amen. And then I need to do this, and I'm going to, because I'm recording this, and I know what I'm doing. And I'm, I'm speaking all those things into the atmosphere um, because I understand the workings of the enemy. Uh, he don't understand. Uh, he better pay attention because it won't work with Arthur. Amen. That was a message that somebody preached not too long ago. Amen. Amen. Uh, it, it happened at um, Serena's event, and Serena Ford's uh, uh, launching of Serena Ford Ministries. Amen. Now, what I understand is, is that. Um, God gave you that ministry more than 20 years ago. And he gave that ministry to you because you asked. Did you, was there something from me? God says, yes. Sound the alarm ministry. And unfortunately, um, it did come to, it started the beginning part of it began um, at the death of, of your late husband, Elder Donald Scales. Amen. And then you moved from man in Christ to sound the alarm. But it really didn't really get formally established as you thought it did. Because if you remember, the paperwork didn't go all the way through with the state that it was supposed to. So that, so that the, the ministry would have been established in that realm. But more or less, you did start it um, in Columbus, Ohio in 2012, right? Praise God. Uh, but then God says, well, no, um, uh, you, you, you got to move. You got to go. Uh, there was a grave concern that you had uh, with regards to 
um, your parents, and particularly your father, who has been pastoring outreach over at Christian Church. Um, at that time, it was about 30, 29 years, 30 years. 